This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. In this video, we'll be looking at how to add PDF files to your Squarespace site so that they're available for download. So there are two main ways of doing it. Um, either you can add it to an image like I've done here, where when you click on the image, the PDF pops up. Or you can also add your file to a link like this, where again, I click it and the PDF file opens up. So I'll show you how to get that done. Um, so first we'll start with our site where right now there's no PDF links. So we'll add those from scratch. So the first thing to do, just go into the back end. Let's just scroll down here. Uh, we'll go to hover over page content, click on, sorry, no, that's not it. Hover over your page and go to edit. Right, and then we'll click the add button here to add a block. And first we're gonna start with the image. So we type image. And we're gonna upload that file from your computer or you can also use a link if you have one so I'm just gonna select my file which is here All right and then I'm gonna hit apply things our image isn't loading so I'll try that again all right, so hit the plus, type image, upload an image, and I'm going to select this PDF image. All right, there we go. So I'm going to hit apply, and next I'm going to add another block called text. Add our text block, and here I'm just going to add some text that says download. PDF file. So next, I'm just going to arrange these two nets to each other. Great. So we have our image here and our text here. So now, once that's in place, and you can have like as many images or text as you want, um, what we're going to do now is to link these two elements to your PDF file. So we'll need to click edit. And next we'll go to design, scroll down to where it says click through URL and click where it says click to add URL. Next we're gonna click on the files link and we're gonna hit add a file. Right. And then we're going to scroll down and select your PDF file, click open. And there it says file uploaded. Um, optional, you can click open it in a new window, that way it will open it in a new tab. Or you can leave it blank if you, well, unchecked if you want it to open in this same window. And just click on the apply button. And over here now, we're going to select the text and click on the link item here and click on the files tab again. Now, if we, we hadn't just uploaded a PDF file, you can click add a file, select a file from your computer and go from there. But in this case, we already have our PDF file um, uploaded from when we did it for the image just now. So we just click on that. And we're also gonna do open in a new window and click add link and we're going to hit save to apply those changes and again you can create as many columns or rows or as many images text combination as you want so i'm going to just maximize it so we can check those changes so now when we click on the image link our pdf file opens and same thing when we click on the text link all right so that's how it's done was this helpful ask a squarespace question now AskQuesty.com